friends, as promised, we will continue reflecting on the messages of Pope Francis that could accompany us in this season of Advent. How will we prepare the way of the Lord? In the Gospel, we find St. John the Baptist who prepared the way of the Lord by exhorting people to conversion and by offering the baptism of water for repentance. Like him, we are also commissioned to prepare the way of the Lord. But you might ask, how then, Cardinal? Well, my dear friends, the Lord Himself gave one possible path for us. Proclaim the gospel to all of creation. This is a way of awakening people from their slumber. And Pope Francis has some reminders for us. First, to those who are called to the priesthood or ordained ministry, the Pope reminds us to preach with the freshness and the fragrance of the gospel. When the faithful come to us, especially at Mass, do they feel invigorated to continue becoming good Christians? What do they bring home from our homily? When they come to confession, do they feel the embrace of the loving Father? How about when they see or hear or talk to us outside the parish? Do they see the face of Jesus in us? The Pope further tells us something essential. Be shepherds who smell like the sheep. Are we far from the people whom the Lord has entrusted to us to pasture? Second, to you, our dear parents, the Pope says, you are the ones who transmit the faith, the transmitters of faith to your children. Do we teach them to pray? Do we pray with them? Do we read and reflect on the scriptures as a family? Our dear parents, in Pope Francis's very words, the faith is the most beautiful inheritance you will leave them. Please do not miss the chance to form them in faith right in your home. Of course, you can send your children to catechetical instruction offered in schools and parishes, but it is special when you lead and assist them in their growth in faith. Third, to you, our dear young people, in whom the Pope has very high hopes, he tells you, go forward with courage, with the gospel in heart and hands, be witnesses of faith by your lives, bring Christ into your home, preach him among your friends, welcome and serve him in the poor. It is consoling to see a lot of young people coming to the church and sharing in her life, in her mission, celebrations, and ministries. Go, and may your vigor never waver. Bring your youthfulness to the church and to society. So there, dear friends, we could prepare the way for the Lord by preaching His Word. In this way, the people to whom we bring the gospel would know that the Lord is coming, and the one who will come is full of mercy and compassion. More of Pope Francis' messages next week.